Hey everyone, today we will be going over a jungle route that has become increasingly prevalent in NA Challenger. In fact, many of the top streamers are using this route quite often. Right now, a lot of the meta junglers have a strong level 2, such as Jin Zhao or Camille, in order to secure early scuttle crabs. This route is a response to that meta, and it provides a way for weaker early game junglers to hit level 3 extremely fast. At the same time, it's very safe, versatile, and efficient, and it can be used on almost any champion in any situation. In this video, we'll be breaking down not only how to do this route, but also how to deal with the common counters to it, as well as how to deal with it if you find yourself facing it. Let's jump into a quick overview of this path before a more detailed breakdown. To start, we place wards in both pixel brushes. We do our red, and then Krugs, and finally the Raptor Camp. This lets us hit level 3 off 3 camps instead of the usual 4. This is due to the Krug Camp giving so much experience. We then secure the Scuttle on the opposite side of the map, after which we can either look for a gank or farm our own jungle. Now, this route may appear to be both simple and exploitable, However, there's quite a bit more to it than what you see on the surface. Essentially, while we're farming the red side of our jungle, we'll be watching our pixel brush wards to scout what scuttle the enemy is going to commit to. Once the enemy has revealed what scuttle they're going for, you can then secure the opposite one. This way, we give initiative to the enemy to reveal what side of the map he's on. In the meantime, we farm extremely efficiently and hit the fastest level 3 possible. Alright, now, let's jump into a challenger replay and break down exactly how this works and what makes it so effective. To start the game off, Aatrox puts down a ward in the pixel brush and Pike wards the pixel brush on the other side. The wards are very important in this route as we need them to scout for information on the enemy jungler. If you're reliably finding it difficult to get your teammates to place a ward on the other side for you, then just opt into taking Ghost Poro in your runes. In this case, use the Ghost Poro to ward on the blue side of the map, and then use your own Trinket to ward on the red side of the map. So after placing the ward, he gets a leash on his red. I want you to pay close attention to the minimap, and figure out what side the opposing jungler is starting on. The answer is the enemy Nidalee started red. We can tell this because Nar showed top pretty early on, while bot lane arrived much later to lane, indicating that they spent time giving the jungler a leash. I want you to keep this in the back of your mind as we go through the video. Let's pause. Right now is a really crucial timing. Can you tell me what it is? 150 to 155 is the earliest you can spot the enemy jungler in the pixel brush ward. This would be the case if the enemy was doing red buff into scuttle, which is a common route for aggressive champions like Xin Zhao or Camille. Next, you'll want to use your smite on the Ancient Krug to speed up your clear. Hold on, let's pause again. This is another crucial timing. So 205 to 210 is when you would see an enemy jungler move through the pixel brush if he was doing red buff, then raptors into scuttle. As you can start to see, by doing Krug so early, we're giving ourselves time before we have to commit to a route while simultaneously waiting for the enemy to reveal their roots in our wards. After Krugs, we then move to our Raptors. However, if you're playing a champion that can't clear Raptors, you can skip them and go to the Scuttle on the opposite side of the map instead. Now, some of you might be thinking that it's a bit strange that we haven't seen the enemy jungle yet. This is what's really cool about this route. We can actually draw information from a lack of information. Let me explain. We know Nidalee started red, we know if she did red into scuttle or red into raptors into scuttle that she would have shown in a ward by now. This leaves three routes that she could be doing. The first is red into her blue side. The second is red into raptors into her blue side. And the third is her doing the exact same route that we're doing. So we know from this that it's highly likely she'll be playing toward the scuttle near her blue. Aatrox then finishes his raptor camp and now knows he can take the scuttle on the opposite side of the map uncontested. Hold on, 2 minutes 50 is another key timing. Can you tell me why? Well, 2.50 is when the pixel brush wards often expire. As you can see, with this route we'll be passing near that area after they die, avoiding detection. After killing scuttle we now want to either go for a gank or go back to clearing our camps. 
In this game, Aatrox sees Fiora overextended in mid lane. On top of that, he knows the Pixel Brush wards would have expired by now, so it's unlikely he'll be caught by a ward. He moves in and lands a solid knockup into a free kill. Afterwards, he helps Syndra push out the lane to gain an additional lead and deny Fiora minions into the tower. Now, some of you are probably wondering what to do if there's no gank available after Scuttle. Well, this is what's so efficient and versatile about this route. You can simply clear your blue, grump and wolves, and then recall. After recalling, you can head back to your crux, because they'll be respawning. And after you kill crux, your raptors will be up too. This lets us fall back into power farming for level 6 if there are no ganks available. Okay, so now that we've covered how to execute this route, let's discuss the weaknesses and how to deal with them. Since we're going to be farming the red side of our jungle, we leave our blue side exposed to being invaded and counter-jungled. So let's jump into a challenger replay and break down exactly what to do when you're being invaded. Once again, we start by getting wards down in both pixel brushes. We then move to get a leash on our red buff and go to Krux afterwards. We then see Kindred gank bot. This was actually a really clever gank by Kindred, as she jumped through the dragon pit to avoid both wards, catching the bot lane off guard. So what do you think Kha'Zix should do as a response? Whenever the enemy jungler does an early gank or takes an early scuttle on the opposite side of the map, you want to invade their jungle as a response. Now, in my opinion, Kha'Zix takes the wrong path here. Normally in this situation, you should try to go around the top lane tri brush, as this will avoid you being spotted in the enemy pixel brush ward. He then begins killing Scuttle to heal since it won't hurt him back. At this point, Kha'Zix will be paying attention to the wards on the bot side of the map to see if Kindred crosses back over. In this scenario, if Kindred did cross back over, he would first check to see if she had a blue buff. If she did, then he would steal her blue and then return back to the route as normal. However, once he finishes the scuttle, Kindred still hasn't shown on any of the wards. This indicates that she committed stealing his blue after she ganked bot lane. As a response, he'll invade her jungle to equalize. This results in vertical jungling. Vertical jungling can be visualized with a line drawn through mid lane. Kha'Zix will get the top half of the map, and Kindred will get the bottom half. He then counter jungles the wolves, blue and gromp to compensate for the camp's Kindred stall, overall making things even. After this, you can choose to gank top, mid, or take your raptors, depending on what's the best choice in the current game that you're in. Alright, before we end the video, let's quickly talk about two ways you can shut down this strategy. The first one is if you're playing a strong level 2 jungler. You'll want to do red buff into immediately taking both scuttles. The enemy simply won't be able to contest you at the second scuttle if they have the weaker level 2. Instead, they'll have to opt into a full clearing of their own jungle. The second way is to invade their blue without them knowing it. This is done by either invading through the side lane tri brush to avoid the pixel brush ward, or just jumping over the dragon pit wall like we saw Kindred do. After you steal their blue, immediately rotate to the other side of the map to protect your own blue and secure the scuttle there. Alright, we covered quite a bit in this video, so let's recap. We begin by placing wards in both pixel brushes and then get a leash on our red buff. Afterwards, we clear our Krugs, which we make sure to smite. After clearing our Krugs, we watch the wards to see if the enemy is going to invade and initiate a vertical jungling scenario. If they do, we then take the scuttle and counter jungle the enemy. While counter jungling, we're always watching the wards to see if the enemy will cross back over. If they don't invade, then we just continue the route as normal, farming our raptors if our champion is able to, and moving to the scuttle on the opposite side of the map. After we kill the scuttle, we want to look for a gank. If none are available, then we just fall back into efficiently farming. If you're playing against this strategy, then try doing your red into taking both scuttles, assuming you have the stronger level 2. You can also invade their blue through the side lane tri brush, or dash through the dragon pit wall to avoid the pixel brush wards. Alright, as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.